are. Maybe that should have been Audevald's first clue that this was something a little weird. Is, uh... <laughs> not just the architecture, but when you put your hand in the center piece here, a spike comes out and impales your hand, sucks up the blood, and purple appears, right? Yeah, that's pretty different from wolf bear fish. <laughs> When we had last left to the last dragonborn, it was vampire o'clock, baby. That's right. Dawn guard time was the time of the day. It was time to head over to Dim Hollow Crypt with, or Dim Hollow Cave, Dim Hollow Zone, with none other than that bald guy we all know and love. Yeah, Vigilant Tawan. He was on the scene. He was on the scene so much, there were two of them. One of them dead, now both dead. Now it was time to proceed into the mysterious, weird final chamber where vampires were hanging out and spooky candles were all around. What lurked inside may be the spookiest thing of all. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. Zoop. There we go. Let's do it. Let's head on in before we get too sleepy. <laughs> Dim Hollow Cavern. Is this even the final room? I don't I don't even know. I'll never tell you anything, vampire. My oath to Stendar is stronger than any suffering you can inflict on me. I believe you, Vigilant. What? And I don't think Mother? you even know what you found here. Is that your voice? Are you sure that was wise, Lokio? He still might have told us something. We haven't gotten anywhere ourselves He served his purpose by leading us to this place. Now it is up to us to bring Harkon the prize. And we will not return without it. Vingalmo and Orthion will make way for me after Vingalmo. Yes, of course, Loki. Do not forget who brought you news of the Vigilance discovery. I never forget who my friends are. Or my enemies. Yo, where are they? Oh my god, was that them talking? Could I hear them all the way over there? I was looking down here thinking that they were still down here. I was like, wait, what? No, they were the people who were walking away. Oh my god. I'm really good at hearing stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. How about this? What's this here? Scroll of Firestorm. Look, they want you to have something cool. Dude, meanwhile, Cicero's just going absolutely buck wild up here. Activate lever. Oh. How come they didn't take the fire scroll, though? <laughs> Why didn't they take it? How could they- how could you even resist, really? Alright, well. Look at this. If this were a different kind of- look at that light comes back in, but if this were a different type of game, you could do like a downward plunge attack or assassination attack, you know? <laughs> Instantly wipe them out. Somehow do one of those like mid-air takedowns, you know? You pull out your like little Daedric dagger, you pull out the blade of woe, mid-air somehow able to just immediately like stab someone at a vital point, killing them instantly. Wild how many games do that. I feel like I don't know. I feel like if I were some kind of, like, guard in some sort of horrible, like, organization or whatever, some dude jumping out of the fucking sky and landing on my head is gonna kill me. Like, like I feel like a guy jumping from that high is gonna kill me no matter what. Like, it's, like you don't even gotta put a knife in my throat or whatever, or in my neck, or, like, an artery or something. Just kind of pull on my neck flying down at that speed, I'm done. I'm dead. I ain't, I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> the knife is not necessary. <laughs> Alright, let's look inside this weird, like, zombie treasure or whatever. Some vampire treasure over here. Man, Cicero is just, like, really talking a lot. <laughs> okay. How about over here? Should we look over this way? I can't even really see myself. I think that's like a ramp, yeah. I guess in what? case you fall into the water. Mother? Is there actually anything down in there? Is that your voice I hear? Okay. 
Okay. Hey, maybe this is one of the people who's. No, oh wait, they're not no. here anymore. Just my head. Please. Why is there a sh <laughs> some shirtless man? Oh, okay. Why is he sat like this? Man. <laughs> well, okay, sure. Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt Volume Three. How long is this? It was written by him. Okay. Sure. Should we give it a read? Excuse me as well. Okay. I was just drinking some sweet tea. Evidently that was enough. Alright, yeah, I guess we should read this. It may be relevant to what's about to happen. How did he sound? <laughs> <laughs> I know how he sounded. <laughs> I know. I know how this guy sounded. I don't know if I can do it though. I don't know. If, I've never practiced it. <laughs> I know who he sounded like. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Let me take a drink here. All right. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Fucks, I don't know if I have the ability to do this sight on scene, but I know exactly who this guy sounded like. It's not someone who I enjoy at all whatsoever, but I know who he sounded like. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Notes on. <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt. X. X? Volume 3. As written by Advol Advald. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. No one has to know what I'm trying to do. No one has to know. If you don't know, great. <laughs> Divines be praised. <laughs> I can't do it, dude! I can't do it! I need more practice! I need- <laughs> I need more practice! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is awful. This is awful. <laughs> I really can't do it. Okay. Here at last is the breakthrough I have been seeking. <laughs> I can't do it, man. <laughs> this, how does this fucking guy sound? Oh, man. So many people can do it well, but I cannot. Um, <laughs> all the dangers I have escaped, <laughs> the traps I have eluded, and the foul drunker I have avoided have brought me at last to this. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't do it. We're going. We're going through. We're going through, man. In my previous volume of notes and observations regarding Dim Hollow Crypt's possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history, I wrote... <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be because I have not listened to a lot of this person talk that I can't do it yet. <laughs> uh, and I don't really want to. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright. This is really bad for anyone who knows what I'm who doesn't know what I'm trying to do, but if you know exactly what I'm trying to do with this, hopefully you're fucking getting a kick out of this. Good lord. <laughs> the possible connections to the ancient vampire clans of Skyrim's history. <laughs> I wrote a, a great chamber far larger than anything else I've yet seen here in the crypt. Alas, a few wandering Draugr forced me to, to retreat to the, er, to, to the earlier passages of the crypt, thus depriving me of an opportunity to study the, <laughs> this. I really can't do it. Huge cavern. <laughs> well, praise be to Stendar. For as I write this, I have just spent nearly a full day exploring that very cavern. It was a risk. 
that proved more than, than worth it, because what I found in that chamber made nearly defies description, central to this huge cavern, is an island of stone in a subterranean lake. Upon this island is something I can only describe as an elaborate ceremonial construction surrounded by stone columns linked by arches. There is no mistaking the stark contrast in architecture here. No ancient Nords made this stonework. Here too were more of the gargoyle statues that I first glimpsed in earlier passageways. There is no Draugr burial site in Skyrim that contains these statues, save Dim Hollow Crypt. Indeed, I am now certain that the strange construct in this main chamber was built long after the crypt, and by wholly different masters. These must be... <laughs> This is so rough. It's so rough. I don't even have like I don't I don't even have like a go-to line for this guy <laughs> that I would know how to how to try and capture. I have done a pretty convincing version of one of his horrible compatriots. I can do a pretty convincing version of that guy. But this guy, not so much. These must be the same builders who place the gargoyles through the crypt, perhaps to frighten away the curious. All signs seem to indicate that the masons who crafted these strange arches were servants of some ancient master who favored necromancy or vampirism. The style of craftsmanship and the stonework are not only distinct in terms of design, seeming to speak of an entirely different culture that of, an, that of the old Nord peoples, but also in skilled with which they in skill with which they were fashioned the cutting and shaping of the stone for example suggests more sophisticated tools than the crypt's original architects would have possessed although i feel a sense of exhilaration that my theories have at last been confirmed beyond any shadow of a doubt i am also disappointed at the lack of answers how long ago were these new features added to the crypt and by whom? And for what purpose? At one point, I have no doubts. I must return to the Hall of the Vigilant and share these findings with my brothers and sisters. When they see what I have discovered with my own eyes, they will no longer scoff at my theories or mock my endeavors. That's, that's very fitting for this voice. <laughs> and when that is done, I will return to my work. For now, Dim Hollow Crypt might be a mystery, but by Stendar, I will see that mystery solved. <laughs> Man, okay. Yeah. Right. So, kind of what you can intuit, that it's, uh, the architectural style is unlike what we're accustomed to, right? Alright. But here's a question. Why'd they have to make him naked like that? <laughs> Why'd the vampires take his shirt? <laughs> Why'd the vampires do that? That's weird. <laughs> Why was he a shirtless man? <laughs> What'd they do? <laughs> All right. Something out there. Let's get him. There we are. Good. Yeah, eat a butt, they'll kill. Cool. Excellent. All right. Should we look through their junk? Heck yeah. What about you? Oh, a potion of strength. Why not? Okay. Let's see over here. Anything else good? <laughs> Part of me is still considering redoing the entire first like 10 minutes of this video. <laughs> Look, I got the save. I got the save. We could go back. We I could redo it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I remember this weird puzzle. Okay. Push button. Yeah, don't I like Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, no. It went right through my armor. Okay, and let's do it again. No? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. 
Let's see. Do I remember how it works, though? I remember that you have to move these around to some degree. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay. And then I need to go get my hand fucked up again? No, <laughs> I just, I just want to get my hand fucked up a little bit, I guess. Okay, and then we do this and it'll come toward us, right? Oh no. Maybe we have to do it from the other direction. Can we actually make them go that away? No. There we are. Cool. Man, they really heard everybody's uh, complaints with the core game. Like, these puzzles are so simplistic, right? There's not much going on with them. Look at this. Now we're pushing stuff? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Maybe that should have been Audevald's first clue that this was something a little weird. Is, uh... <laughs> not just the architecture, but when you put your hand in the center piece here... A spike comes out and impales your hand, sucks up the blood, and purple appears, right? Yeah, that's pretty different from... Wolf bear fish, <laughs> right? That's pretty different. <laughs> Damn. All right, we needed three volumes just to figure that one out. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh oh, what's gonna appear? It's a portal. Oh my gosh, we're going down. Oh my gosh, it's not a portal at all. It's somehow still a button. Stone monolith. Oh my gosh! There's a person, a mysterious woman. Uh, where is. Who sent you here? It's so wild that we can't have a first instinct of like, oh fuck, time to kill, <laughs> right? Because very normally, this is what happens, right? Very normally, we do, we're in an ancient Nordic ruin or some weird shit fucking place in the middle of nowhere. Solve a weird puzzle, you know? So this, expect some cool... I don't know. Sometimes a, like, weird, horrible monster appears. A dragon priest or whatever. Uh-oh, bear immediately kill it. You know? But for some reason, we just stopped and we are like, Oh, man, this one isn't so much a monster, but it's kind of a hot lady. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's it. I guess that's all it took. <laughs> Who were you expecting? A man named Ezrin. That's not your concern. Who were you expecting? I was expecting someone like me, at least. What do you mean, like you? Are you a v v v vampire? Vampire, yes. The Dawnguard would want me to kill you. Why were you locked away like this? Why were you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Okay, here's another question. When she was in there, was there, like, magic keeping her asleep? I assume so, and, like, keeping her in suspended animation. Maybe even hence the Elder Scrolls presence there on her back. Spoilers. But, um... I would have to assume, like, to preserve the body. Or maybe it's just, like, her vampiric nature that preserved the body, in a way, you know? Her, like, extra special vampiric nature, even. Okay, let's see. Where do you need to go? As long as you don't get in my way, where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Okay. Any idea how to get out of here? How long were you in there? Any idea how to get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. How long were you in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? That's actually a matter for debate. Ulfric <laughs> Stormcloak is the true High King. That's so wild that we can tell her. <laughs> Elisif of Solitude will be High Queen. Let's say that because I'm pretty sure the first time I came through, I went with Matter for Debate. 
because I want to say they were both still active, but very clearly it will be Elisif right now, right? Elisif will be the High Queen. I don't know that name. You say she's Jarl of Solitude? Who supports her? The Empire supports Elisif, but there are many in Skyrim loyal to Ulfric. Empire? What? What Empire? Uh-oh, zoinks! The Empire from Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is the seat of an Empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. That's really wild. She's older than the Elysian Empire, even? Or at least around about the same age to where she doesn't know the rise of the Elysian Empire? That would be, like, that would place her back when, like, um... The, what do you call them? The fucking aliens and shit were enslaving, like, the races of man in and around the area. Right? Because that, that that was from what, like, the entire empire, is. my understanding, is, like, born out of. Right? The Elysian Rebellion and whatnot. Anyway. Why were you locked away? St. Elysia. You know, St. Elysia. Well, probably, arguably, the best emperor of all. Uh, why were you locked away? I... Rather not get into that with you, if that's all right. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Okay. Hey, is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's mine. Okay, I got one too. Shit, fuck off. Why do you have an El Elder Scroll? Is it fragile? Do we need to be careful with it? Have you... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> are your eyes red because you've been looking at it too much? Is, is that what happens? I've heard about these. Why do you have an Elder Scroll? It's complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. It's uh, so wild that I can't be like, why aren't you trying to kill me or whatever? <laughs> this is really weird. You're not trying to kill me? Okay, tell me about your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. I bet it's we can. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Why wouldn't you be safe there? Someone you don't want to see? Someone you don't want to see? My father and I don't really get along. Ugh, saying it out loud makes it sound so... common. Little girl who doesn't get along with her father. Read that story a hundred times. Wait here. I need to trade some things with you. Okay. Yeah, let's trade. Not going to happen. Oh. Okay. Will you wait here? Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you. But I'll be following. Okay. Well, come with I me. I knew you'd miss me. Oh, did Cicero already fuck off? <laughs> I guess he did. <laughs> Alright. Sure. But yeah, um... I would have to assume that the magic and everything, like, kept her in suspended animation. Otherwise, she would be waking up, like, every so often, like, thirsty for blood. And inside of this creepy little, um, like, claustrophobic-ass area, right? Which, you know, given w what I know of her backstory and everything, what I remember of it, that, that could be true, right? That sounds par for the course for, like, some of the shit that she's been through. Is Cicero actually our follower Let's right kill now? Someone. Yeah. Let's rearrange. Let's see. <laughs> oh, nope. We're good. Humble Cicero lives to serve. Okay. Let's head on up here. Good, good, good. Oh no! <laughs> sure. I love that the like the statue stuff goes flying. Whenever they erupt from it. I remember way back when I first did this. Way back in the day when Dawnguard first came out. It freaked me the fuck out. Because I wasn't expecting them to come to life at all. Right? That did Because it felt very... Like, antithetical to what I came to expect from Elder Scrolls stuff. Right? I was like, holy shit, they're coming to life? Oh my god! <laughs> it just really scared me. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here, take all this. Oh yeah, they're gonna be loaded now too, aren't they? Must oil mother soon. Put all the hard faces. Alright. 
So is it also safe to assume that like the Dwemer were so oh my gosh, look, secret money. Okay. Oh shit. There we are. But like were the Dwemers still active around the time that she was also this active? Like right I guess we don't know how far back it goes, right? And even if they were, would she know? Do we, we do learn like we do have like an exact date on her, right? I think we do. We just don't have it yet right now in our story. All right. Well, let's head on over here. But yeah, if she's pre-founding of the empire, right? Yeah, she would totally have been around for the Dwemer, you know? Whether or not she knew any. Okay. No, we're definitely not going to find our way up in here. Whoa, reactivity to that. No, what you're doing? No, I never do. All right. Let's look inside the water. Are you able to cross water? Hey, is that why there's water everywhere? <laughs> Some of them, somebody thought like, oh yeah, you know, moving water. I mean, it ain't really moving or whatever, but, you know. There's that old vampire thing where it's like vampires can't cross a moving body of water or something like that. Flowing water. Okay. Anything else? But yeah, Serana. Often regarded as, like, a really good follower. And that's mostly, like, like we've touched on in the very early beginnings of this playthrough. That's almost entirely due to the fa Oh, vampire fish! Hell yes! But that's almost entirely due to the fact that she just has more of a character than almost any other follower. Right? She's, like, maybe one of the more well-developed ones. Like, I don't know, Cicero's pretty decently well-developed as well, right? But he just, he fucking talks a lot. <laughs> talks a whole lot, and I think most people... You could, I could very easily see someone being like, yeah, I killed him. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't I have killed him after all that? <laughs> you know, I think there's a, there's a very understandable argument for that, right? But there's a very few and far between followers who have as much writing devoted to them as Serana, which I do think makes her like a pretty solid choice for a follower. Even beyond the usual stuff of people being like, Yeah, she's hot. I want to marry her. <laughs> All right. But like that, that definitely, sure, fair enough. But I think, I think it stems from the fact that like, she's a pretty like decently developed character. You know, and I feel like there is, there's become to be like backlash and stuff like, Ugh, everybody likes Serana. And I feel like, you know, there's good reason for it. She's... She actually has a decent amount of writing compared to most followers, you know? She has, um, she feels a lot closer to, uh, most of the good followers from, like, Fallout 4. You know, if that's any indication of where things will go in the future with regards to, like, follower and companion writing, you know, in Starfield or beyond. Something to look forward to, I think. And certainly there, like the, don't, don't get me wrong, the, there's definitely a, a tier list of followers for Fallout 4 as well, right? Like, like, Nick Valentine is far and away probably one of the better written ones of them all, but they do all have writing, right? To be fair, they all have writing, the quality of it, you know, it varies, the amount of it varies, but everybody's got some writing. You know? <laughs> Everybody is a written character. Listen, back in 2011, shit, we were playing with followers. They didn't even have a character. You made it up. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> Some of those burdens is your headcanon. <laughs> These fucking dudes not even coming to life. All right. Let's head on out. Over this way. Good, good, good. And so if we were here with Vigilant Talon, I wonder how that would have gone down. Would that dude have wanted to kill her too? Oh, look, there's a treasure here. I didn't even <laughs> didn't even see it. Alright. Good. Sure. And then let's go out the normal way. Cool. Oh, should we chow down on some more food? We're a bit hungry. Well fed. Excellent. 
Is there any more cool collectible stuff? Don't know. I don't think so. I feel like we got everything, right? Alright. Over here inside of the urn. Oh my gosh, a diamond flawless ruby garnet and a regular ruby? Holy shit. Okay. And I think another cool part of the characterization of Serana is, there is that she sort of represents what's really fun about any game that has a follower system, right? Um, very frequently in role-playing games, followers act as like lenses through which you can see and experience the world, right? And of course they offer you that perspective and like opinion as you're going through and all that, right? Like a very, f like, like the epitome of it is like the Bioware follower system, right? All the followers, not only do they have their own sort of personality, right, but they represent, like, a characterization of, like, either a faction or group or opinion or belief in that world, you know? And it, it gives you a, that kind of perspective upon which you can, like, sort of look at the world through that lens, right? It gives you additional insight. And Serana is exactly that, you know? She is very clearly, like, defined as this specific character existing in this world and all that shit, right? She feels, yeah, she feels very much like a Bioware-ass follower, you know? All right, take all that. Got some healing and stam. Oh, a little tiny one, too. What about this creepy little area, huh? It's very dark here. Oh, look at all these as well. Yeah, this is eerie. Okay. Sure. Guess we'll go over here. It's got the lighting. Oh dear, how do we open it? Serana, I don't know how to open this stuff. You know how to get in there? Oh, what is it? No? Okay, sure. It also does help as well that um, Serana's voice actress is like a pretty, like, well acclaimed. Uh, voice actress in her own right as well. Though I want to say this is like one of her earlier roles the, uh, on the rise to like prominence, right? I don't know. At least in video games, right? She probably had loads and loads of roles, but this is like one of her more prominent starting ones I want to, f I feel. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Girl. Good. <laughs> But yeah, as for recently, she's the voice of, um, what's her butt? Of, um, maybe her, her most recent prominent role is Abby from The Last of Us Part 2, right? That's Serana, I believe. Let's see anything over here. No. But yeah, she also regularly does the critical role stuff. Right, which I think this this role predates them beginning the like critical role and everything. This even predates like um a lot of the people in critical role who are now like fairly well known voice actors and do a lot of like big characters and all that. Um it it predates a lot of them rising to like a well known degree of prominence. You know, like they, they were still getting work and stuff. Like if you go back and check their like IMDB they were still getting roles and all that, but they had yet to sort of uh, become, like, l oh recognized God. on the same level as, like, a Nolan North or whatever, right? Because around this time, it was, like, Nolan North, Stephen Bloom, Jennifer Hale, right? All those folks were, like, the big names. At least as far as games are concerned. Let's see. I want to say Troy Baker was just coming onto the scene as well and rising to prominence around this time. This was around the time that Troy Baker was getting, like, major roles. There we go. It's been a while since we fought one of these assholes, huh? Yeah. 
Okay. Is there like another vampire down there? No. It's like a cloaked skeleton. There we are. Man, some people burnt to a fucking crisp, huh? Thank God she hasn't asked about this guy. <laughs> okay. Let's check here. Good. A staff of repulsion. Uh, were they like roasting and toasting vampire here? Is that what they were doing? Okay. Yeah, I guess this is a, a great way of them trying to, like, utilize world building to sort of make you feel sympathetic toward vampires in Skyrim land, finally, you know? Okay. Up and over here. No. We should probably get the word wall, but is there anything That's else around here? I don't oh think so. Alright. What's our cool word? I don't even remember any of the Dawn Guard ones. Uh Magica Drain. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Do we have other drains? Or is or is that like oh. Steel great sword of diminishing. Wow, it looks very cool there in the dark. Let's see here. Oh, oops, under magic. Been a while since we had to unlock one of these. Oh, look, we've already even got one of the words. We must have gone to a Dawn Guard area, right? Okay. Oh, so the drain. The drain shout is all three of them in one. It's just each word amps it up to the next level of, uh, severity. Right, stamina, magic, and then health, I guess. Huh. Is there only one dragon shout in Dawnguard? No, there's gotta be at least one more, right? Okay. Anything else right here? I don't think so. Sure. Fair enough. Alright. Up and out. Go. Hold on the chain. Good. But yeah, Serana is also. We've played multiple games with Serana's voice actress. Oh. It's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. Hey. Shouldn't we keep moving? I really yeah, I want guess to get so. back home. Cicero? Cicero is at your yeah, service. He's still with us. Oh, great and powerful oh, listener. Humble. Okay, there is definitely a dragon around somewhere, but hey, that Cicero works out for us. Serve. Whoa, it landed over here. What the hell? Oh, it must be fighting like a bear or something. Where'd you come from? Okay. Yeah, wouldn't you want to know, Serana? Would you? Yeah, this dragon? Yeah, that's a long story where they came from. <laughs> the, nowadays, though, don't worry about it so much. There we go. It's just a basic baby dragon, too. Wow. Are you guaranteed a dragon right here? Alright. Alright, Serana, I'm gonna go see you at the boat. See ya. I'll meet you out there. Bye! People nowadays, we fly on dragons! We- everybody does this. We can all do- <laughs> all the stuff you see me doing, everybody does this now. The- the shouting, magic, <laughs> it's- it's all normal. We're all like this now. <laughs> also, Dunmer now have completely taken over Skyrim. <laughs> I don't know how things used to be, but, uh, for years, done- Oh my gosh, the game has just crashed. <laughs> I think it just- It just completely flatlined right there upon zoning in with the dragon. Really wild, especially considering, like, we saw the game a bit, right? We were flying around a bit, and it just cut to black? 
What the hell? We must have like entered some kind of weird no man's land area. Let's all check out the the Magicka bar down there. Doesn't it look a little weird? Looks a little like evil now. <laughs> Why does it look so evil? All right. Well, we'll be right back. What the fuck? All right. We are back. I think. I think we should be okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Huh. I don't know what happened. Weird. Maybe it didn't like me using the dragon flight with Serana in tow or something like that. Just some strange confluence of events. Ooh, okay. Well, let's head on back over to this fun boat, which we still haven't technically uncovered this time around. But yeah, I was saying um, we've played already several games with... Uh, Serana's voice actress in them. I forgot what her real name is. It's, um, Ashley, uh, what's her name? Right? Oh my gosh. I cannot remember her, her surname. Right? I used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. <sighs> but, uh, she is Jody from Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. She is... Oh, what was her name? Veronica's girlfriend in New Vegas from Dead Money. Also this is the part where we usually get in the boat. You with me? Well I don't know. Who, who else? Maybe that's it. Other than like small bit rolls and stuff. Alright. Let's head on out. There we are. Good. Cool. And hopefully this should work without a hitch. We'll see. Is she leading the way or am I? Okay, I'm leading. Yeah, evidently this can uh, this can break pretty roughly. Like we had said before. But I think we should be fine. Being as we haven't come here yet without her. Oh, where'd she go? Oh. Huh. Do we need to talk? Maybe. Hey. Hey, so before we go in there. What is it? Are you all right? What is it now? <laughs> A sign of things to come in Fallout 4. <laughs> what is it? I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Here we are. Ready to go in? Yeah, let's yes? go in. Oh, we can talk more. Why were you locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. This is your home? This is it. Home sweet castle. Why didn't you tell me it was so huge? It's impressive. Why didn't you tell me you were rich? <laughs> I didn't want you to think I was one of those, you know, the women who just sit in their castle all day. I don't know. Coming from a place like this, well, it's not really me. I hope you can believe that. Yeah, you're the kind of woman who sits inside of a weird, creepy monster dungeon for years and years. <laughs> that's 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 what I think of you right now. Is that an Elder Scroll? Yes, it is. And it's Okay, mine. same as before, I think. Is it fragile? Do we need to be careful with it? <laughs> Nothing can destroy an Elder Scroll. Worry more about protecting your hide and let me worry about my things. Oh, man. What if they did destroy one in the future and something weird happened, you know? That sounds like a perfect setup, right? Someone trying to destroy one? Or destroy a whole lot of them? Or all of them? Right? That sounds like a plot for a mainline game, doesn't it? That sounds like a main quest plot. Somebody trying to destroy a Elder Scroll or all of them. Alright. Sure. Let's head on up. Oh, are we? Uh -oh. Maybe it's broken. 
need a no? sweet roll. Or a carrot. She okay. Well, let's go up here and let's see what happens. Maybe she'll catch up. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. She's just in follower mode. I'm so worried about it not working. Oh look, this is already a great sign, I think. Hey! Lord Harkin's a great man. Best show him the proper respect. Damn, are they not gonna say anything? Or is it because Cicero and Gordon are in the way? After all yeah, these there we go. years, Lady Serana's back. Now that's something. All right. Let's head on in. How dare you trespass here? Wait. Oh, Serana, is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Mm -mm. My lord, everyone, Serana has returned. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. I love how nasty it is. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, he I'm has the delighted scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I'm Lyle Schnub! Who are you? You first. How do you not know I'm the last Dragonborn? Come on. I mean, she's, she was living under a rock, but what's your excuse? <laughs> who, who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. You're vampires. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. I'm also a member. <laughs> I don't really care what you are. I have to say this, given what we've gone through. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. Not quite. Though I can see how an outsider might arrive at that conclusion. No, we are vampires, among the oldest and most powerful in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Yo, does- I was just joking, you know, I'm just kidding when I was saying Volkswagen, uh, castle and shit like that. But does he legit have, like, a hint of a Germanic accent? Is that- is that what's going on? Alright, do I get a reward for finding your daughter? What happens now? Do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. Okay, but that's most of that is true already. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! This is the power Ugh. that I offer. Now, make your choice. I don't remember it sounds so, like, fleshy and meaty when it happens. I will accept your gift and become a vampire. I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. All right, I mean, listen, if you didn't see this coming, you haven't been paying attention. We're a bad guy. I want to become a vampire. First time I played through this, I don't know if you picked up on it, 
We've been trying to do different things than the first time I played through. I was Dawn Guard all the way, baby. This time, we're vamping it up. We're vamping it up. Blee! You become a vampire. Oh, man! Yo, he sucks you off so hard you black out? Shit! Okay. Fuck, I can't even see straight. I got sucked off so hard. Fucking A. Awake at last. Where even Good. am I? The power is growing within you. And now you must learn to wield it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm ready to learn about my new powers. What happened? How did I get here? What is this place? What happened? How did I get here? My blood is potent. At first, the body is overwhelmed by it. After my bite, you collapsed and fell into a slumber. Now your flesh has acclimated to the new blood that courses through your veins. I assure you, no harm was done. In truth, your strength surprises me. Not all mortals can withstand my embrace. Okay, well, what is this place? A shrine to Molag Bal, the mighty Daedra Prince who is father to all our kind. Our power is a blessing from him. It is he who first bestowed the gift of the ancient blood upon me. You made a pact with Molag Bal? Wow, how dare you! <laughs> <laughs> is there ever- is there any reactivity here to you having the Mace of Molag Bal? Like, should I go get it and bring it back here and someone will say something? Or, like, like, I don't know. Like I said, I never did this. You made a pact with Molag Bal? In an age long forgotten to history, I ruled as a mighty king. My domain was vast, my riches endless, and my power infinite. And yet, as my mortal life neared an end, I faced a seemingly invincible enemy. My own mortality. I pledged myself to Molag Ball, and in his name I sacrificed a thousand innocents. In reward, he gave everlasting life to myself, my wife, and my daughter, and so I have defeated mortality itself. Cool. Well, I'm ready to learn about my new powers. With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. Use your vampire lord power. Okay. Let's see here. Alright, great. Use the revert form power to change back. Oh, you can go at will? Huh. Alright, I'm ready to hear the nasty meat slapping Use noise. Use the power of the ancient blood to transform into a vampire lord. I wonder who his voice actor is. I wonder if I know this dude. Okay. All right. In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Do so now, and we will continue. Okay. Oh, wow. Good. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow. Well, look at strength, this animation. You will find new ways to use your gifts. Okay. The perk tree. Isn't there also a Dawn Guard perk tree, or am I mistaken? 
I cannot remember, but I'm pretty... Like, isn't there, like, legit a Dawnguard perk tree that, like, includes stuff for uh, using the crossbow and stuff like that? I want to say that's the case, but I, I really don't remember. All right. Kill enemies with a drain life or bite power attack to earn perks. Each new perk requires a few more feedings. All right, just like being a wolf. 50 point bonus to health, magicka, and stamina as a vamp. Detect all creatures, even robots. Mist form. A night power. Transform into an invulnerable mist. Health, magicka, and stam regen. Supernatural reflexes. Everything slows down while you move faster. What are night powers? Are they just like lesser powers or whatever that you can use at night? Blood magic can pull a creature to you from a distance and do choking damage once it's close. Target is paralyzed, can conjure a gagoyle to fight for you. Okay. Killing a person with a power attack bite restores all your health. Wow. Night powers and blood magic cost 33% less. Oh, oh. Oh gosh. Melee attacks do 20% or 20 points of poison damage. In combat, you are surrounded by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies within melee range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's a little weird. <laughs> that was not as cool as, as the others, but sure. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I looked at him. Oh, am I supposed to take the first one here? No. Okay. There is much to learn. But if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. Alright. Select powers from your favorites menu. Oh, are they- Oh, they're all here! Huh. Vampire Sight. Oh, I there can see vampires. Thing you must know. <laughs> Slaying mortal men with your life- Look, there's one right there grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? What must I know about being a vampire? Tell me again about being a vampire, Lord. What must I know about being a vampire? As a vampire, you will gain new powers, but also a weakness to sunlight. With each passing day that you do not feed, that weakness will become more deadly, but your powers will also become stronger. Oh, really? Feed upon those who are sleeping, and your vulnerability to sunlight will diminish along with your powers. Okay. Tell me again about being a vampire lord. When you first transform into a vampire lord, you will hover in the air. While you do, you will command the powers of blood and night. Descend to the ground and you can attack with your claws and feed upon your prey to regain your strength. With experience, your powers will grow and you will discover new ways to use them. Okay. Well, I'm ready for the first task. Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Use your revert form power to transform back. What if I don't want to? I have kept my end of the bargain. Now I expect you to keep yours. Such a creepy little dude now. <laughs> Look at this. Is that my spine there? Is that part of me or is that part of the outfit? Huh. Is it made to also look kind of like, like a prisoner's getup? Is that the idea, right? It's like a, a shackle around your neck, almost. Yeah. Oh, but it also looks kind of like a mantle. Oh, look. <laughs> hey, everybody, check it out. I'm fucked up now, even more. <laughs> check it out, Cicero. I got bit by a vampire and then I turned into this. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. How about you? What's up with you? Oh, you're tripping balls. Okay. 
So how do I how do I suck people off then? Let's let's practice over here. Is that my power slap? Do I have to do I have a double slam? No. You only have one or the other. You got the quick ones. And I got a charged one. Well, if I scream at him. Oh, okay, no, no good. Bats is what. <laughs> Wait, okay, this one's just called Bats. Oh, shit, it's a blink. Oh, my God. Bats, okay. <laughs> What's it just called Bats? <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, shit, how do I do it again? What's the cooldown on this shit? Oh my god. Oh, Bats is ready. Okay, Bats is ready. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. Eat your heart out, Corvo Otano. Alright. Let's see. Can I do like a... Can I do a suck here or what? Go. Oh. Am I doing it right? Oh yeah. Life blood absorbed. Oh, we kill them when we do it. Is there a way to peaceably absorb their power? I guess you do it in human form, huh? Okay. Let's see. Revert form. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting another weird, nasty meat noise. But okay. Alright. What? Mother? I don't look too different. <laughs> You know, we already cursed a bit. <laughs> it's not too bad yet. <laughs> right? This is a fucking dumber way of life, right? Fucking A. Alright, we're a vampire now. We gotta go hang out under a volcano or some shit. Alright, well, holy hell. We're a fucked up vampire now. We got vampire powers. Can I access them from here or do I have to be vamping out to even access them? Yeah, we gotta be vamping out. Okay. All right. Well, when next we come back, I guess we're going to take a tour of Castle Volkswagen and uh, we're going to get on our way with this cool new quest. Also, notice feeding didn't seem to help my hunger, unlike feeding as a cannibal would. Right. That's it. I guess we can still double down. Right. We can we can like, <laughs> is it cool if I do that? Hang on. Let's. Yeah, here we are. Let's. Can I? Yeah, this will. Won't this work? Feed. Yeah, the other kind of feed. <laughs> look, look, there we go. Please. Great, we got the fluids, we got the solids, oh, everything's good. Wait, she's still alive. She was still talking. Wait, I can still talk to her. Hang on. What's happening? Wait, she's alive. Where? Where am I? Oh my god, what? <laughs> uh, is it only because I got the ring of Khajiit active? Or the ring of Namira? What? Hang on, what? Yeah, I've unequipped it. Right? Yeah. Huh? How can I still feed? Wait, I'm feeding now as a vampire, regular. Oh, and that fed me. Who are you? <laughs> this is so wild. Hang on. <laughs> can, I, can we knock you? <laughs> oh my god! This is scarier than I was a few minutes ago. What the fuck? Hang on, can I feed on her again? Yeah. All right, cool. Let me go. All right, well, uh, <laughs> hey, if if you love vampires, guess what? We also played a lot of. Speaking of other games that we played, uh, check a look at Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines. Wow, that was one heck of a playthrough as well. If you just can't wait for more vampire fun that we're about to have, uh, if you think this is a cool. Boy, wait till you see that game, too. 
<laughs> I mean, they got stuff like this, oh. but there was cool stuff there, too. <laughs> All right. When next we come back, we're going to check out the castle. Until next time, please take care of each other.